Okay, identify equivalent fractions in the number lines above using circle, triangle, or other 2D shapes. Now, number lines are wonderful tools to understand the concept of equivalent fractions. So, what you can see here that we have a number line. This one represents the whole number line, one unit. And over here you can see that this one number line has been divided into two equal parts. So this is the first part and this is the second part. The number line, exactly the same length here as this one, has now been divided into three equal parts. So this is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. The same number line has now been divided into six equal parts and the bottom number shows how many parts a certain unit has been divided into, how many parts one quantity has been divided into. So this number line, uh, which is one whole, has been divided into six equal parts this time. So the bottom number shows the number of parts and the top number shows top number shows how many parts of those equal units that you're dealing with. This number line has been divided into two equal parts and this one has been divided into six equal parts. So if you notice that three of these equal parts together are exactly equal to half of that line. So in this example, four of these eight equal parts are exactly equal to half of the line. In this example, five of these equal parts are exactly equal to half of that line. If you draw a vertical line, you'll notice that the line divides, vertical line divides all the number lines of the same length exactly into half. And so what it means that one over two 3 over 6, 4 over 8, and 5 over 10 are equivalent fractions and they will all reduce to the lowest term, lowest, lowest term which is 1 over 2. So what it means that if you simplify 3 over 6 which is this one, it should simplify to 1 half. Okay, so 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6. So one, 3 3 over 6 is also equal to 1 over 2. 4 over 8, 8, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. So 4 over 8 will also reduce to 1 over 2. And 5 over 10 will also reduce to 1 over 2. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10. So all equivalent fractions will always reduce to the lowest term which is in this case is 1 over 2. So these are equivalent fractions. These four. On this side you'll see that 1 over 3, 2 over 6 and 3 over 9 are all equivalent fractions. Okay, So all these fractions will divide the line into three equal parts. Okay, so and all these fractions will reduce to the lowest term which is one over three. So two over six, two times one is two and two times three is six. So two over six will also reduce to one third and three over nine will also reduce to one third. So three times one is three, three times three is nine. So all equivalent fractions will reduce to the lowest term. And do we see any other equivalent fractions? So two third. So two third, four sixth, and six ninth are also equivalent fractions. So these will these all will reduce to two thirds. So four over six, which is this one, four over six 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 3 is 6. So 2 over 3. 6 over 9. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. So 2 over 3. So all equivalent fractions will reduce to uh, the lowest term. In this case, it is this one. In this case, it is this one. In this case, it is this one. 
Thank you very much.